Hello, my friends. I'm Clover. Uh, sorry about the audio slash background noise today. As you can see, I'm currently recording in my car because my life is falling apart, I guess. Uh, but we got to get puzzles to the people, so let's do this. So today we have another guest by James Sinclair. Uh, this is the second of his two guest appearances this week. Thank you so much, James. Uh, his URL for his newsletter is on the screen directly above my head, artisanalsudoku.substack.com. Go check that out if you've enjoyed these puzzles. So today we've got from James a puzzle called Mariner. This was originally posted on May 18th, 2024. And the rules are as follows. So we have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outline three by three region. And then we also have two Sudoku variants going on here. So we have, first of all, quadruples. So those are these white circles and um, they tell you the set of digits that appear somewhere in the four cells surrounding that circle. And in some places in this particular puzzle, a digit appears twice in a circle, and that means that that digit has to appear twice in the four surrounding cells. These kind of pinky purple lines are Renban lines, and what those indicate is that you have a set of consecutive digits, but that those digits can appear in any order on the line. So for example, this line could have two, three, four, five, six, but they wouldn't necessarily have to go in that order. They could, they could go like, like this, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and solve. So the first kind of cheeky trick that James has given us with this has to do with these quads that have duplicated digits in them. And the thing to notice is this. So for here, here, for instance, we have two fives in a quad, right? So that tells us in those four cells surrounding that quad, there have to be exactly two fives. Well, technically at least two fives, but you definitely can't fit more than two in there. So exactly two fives. Anyways, those two fives either go in these two positions or in these two positions because they can't see each other. But if we were to put them in these two positions, we would have two fives on that same Renban line, which is impossible because that has to be a consecutive set. It has to be like five, six, seven, eight, not like five, five, six, seven. So the two fives has to go here. And for the same reason, our two sixes for this quad go there, two fives go there, two fours go there. And so now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the other digits around each of these quads. So this one also has a one and two, this has a two and three, this one has an eight and a nine, and this one has a seven and an eight. And let's clean that up a little bit. So for one, this quad is one, three, five, nine. That takes up all four of these cells. So this can't be an eight. That must be the nine. And then there's my eight. These are going to be one, three, and five. And that tells me that this is our two and this is our one. That organizes this. I get a three here and a two here by Sudoku. And this, I get a seven and an eight. Now, if we look at these Rembrandt lines, this one has a one and two on it. So the other two digits to make a consecutive set have to be three and four. And because this quad does not contain a three, it only contains a four. There's my four, there's my three. These now are going to be five, eight, nine, the other digits around the quad. There's a five in this row already, so my five will go right there. And then these are going to be two, six, and seven to finish the region. Now, along this Renban line, there are actually two options at this point. It could be either one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. But in order for it to be two, three, four, five, we would have to have a five in one of these cells, and five is already eliminated from both of them. So this will be one, two, three, four making these a 1-4 pair. Over here, we have 8 and 9, so these will have to be 6 and 7. This quad tells us that our 6 goes there and our 7 goes there. These will be 1, 5, and 9, and 5 is ruled out of these cells, so there's my 5, there's my 1, and my 9. And the remaining digits here will be 2, 3, and 4. Now we have a 3 in column 7 already, so the 3 will go right there, and then that will be a 2-4 pair. This run band, Four, four, seven, eight. So we have seven and eight that are actually on the run band. So that's either five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. Those are the only ways to do four consecutive digits using only Sudoku digits um, that definitely include a seven and eight already. We have fives in these regions already. So these can't be five, six, seven, eight. These must be six, seven, eight, nine. The six tells us that this is the nine and this is the six. And actually something I didn't grab earlier, but will now is that this four here does the same thing up here at the top. It makes this a one and makes this a four. So now I'm gonna take this one and use it to eliminate ones from those cells. That makes this a one. And then this five gives me my three and my five here. So my last two digits there are gonna be seven and eight and I know where they have to live. 
So now let's turn our attention to these corner rim bands. So we have a six in this region already, and that actually tells us exactly what's going to be on here. Because we could go one, two, three, four, five with this, right? And if we went any bigger than that, like two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc., um, then we would definitely be using a six. The only way to do a set of five consecutive digits that doesn't have a six in it is for it to be exactly one, two, three, four, five. So I'll pencil those in, and that makes these guys 7, 8, and 9, and I'll clean that up a bit before I move on. So this 8, 9 pair gives me a 7. The 8 here gives me a 9, and then that's an 8. I have a 5 down here that eliminates 5 from these cells. I have a 3 here that eliminates 3. I have a 2, a 4, and a 5 that makes this a 1 or a 3, and because there's a 3 in the row, there's my 1. Oh, and there's also a three there. <laughs> Oops. Now the only position for five here is there. This is not a three because there's a three in the row. This is not a four because there's a four in the row. And this is not a two because there is a two in the row. So in row three, I still need to place three and four. Three can't go in the middle. So that's a four. That's a three. And that organizes all of that. Cool. So let's look down here. The only way, same argument, that we can do a five cell ren band with no four in it is for it to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. Five can't go in these cells by Sudoku, so five's going to go there. This can't be seven, that can't be seven, that can't be seven, just because we have seven seeing those cells. So seven goes there. Eight and nine are eliminated here, making that a six. And then this is going to be a nine because of the eight up there and an eight. And now these cells are going to contain 1, 2, and 3. The 1 can't go right here. The 1 also can't go right here because of the 1, 9 pair. So that's my 1. And then here I need either a 2 or 3 to finish row 7. Can't be a 3, so it is a 2. And that finally tells me where I put 2 in this region. And to finish off this column, I'm going to have a 3. So let's go ahead and finish. Um, we just have classic Sudoku moves to make at this point. So we have an 8 in this column already. That resolves this. I still need to place a 1, a 2, and a 4, and I can tell which way those go just based on looking at these rows. Here I need a 7 and a 9, 9 and 7. I need a 1 and an 8, a 9 and a 1. Here I need a 7 and a 9. Here I need a 2 and I believe a 6. Fantastic. The 2 resolves this 2-4 pair that I had going on here for a while. 3 and an 8 to finish the row. These are going to be 1, 4, and 6, which are resolved. What a beautifully clean finish to this puzzle. I have really been impressed by this one, have really, really enjoyed solving it. I enjoyed it the first time, I enjoyed it even more the second time. So 9 can't go in those cells, that's going to be a hidden 9. Those can't be 6, so there's my 6, and that should be it. So I hope you enjoyed Mariner by James Sinclair. I hope James comes back and joins us again sometime. We've really enjoyed having him. Um, he put out two absolute bangers during the course of this week. If you didn't see the previous one, you should definitely go check that out. And yeah, thanks again to James. Thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.